All right, guys, did a quick button check. And then we're getting right into it. Uh, Giddy, what's up? Oh, are we in there? All right, bet. For A. Hey, Stream. Sorry about that. I was just getting another uh, round of matches here. We have five different setups. Uh, so we're, we're making sure we can bring you as much MK action as we can this yeah, weekend. Oh, I know they already started. I didn't realize. All right, so here we go. Th that was not a button check. We're, we're in there. Opting to go with Dragon's Fire here against uh, Hollywood Cast Cage, the instant air guns, uh, Sonic Fox, one of the best in the business. Oh, that nice anti-air there. Oh, the cancels. Forever Elite having full control of every variation of Liu Kang. Oh, he hits with the 1-1-3. One, one, and the corner carry to tie things up here and send it to a final round. Final round. Fine. Next level. The back one, two. Punishes that EX overhead with a throw. Gets him in the corner right where he wants him. Oh, Forever Elite wanting nothing to do with that. Oh, he throws him back in the corner. He said, I didn't tell you to go anywhere, son. All right, makes it safe with that EX overhead. Oh, that's going to be a punish. Yeah, that's an offline punish if I've ever saw one. Here we go. Carrying him all the way to the other side of the screen. Fox. A neutral game from Fox. So deadly, so deadly. He's forced the break there. Still has an opportunity here. It's an air guns. Oh, there it is, the EX bicycle kick. Oh, the EX. Yeah, the EX guns. So much for that. At least we have another day. We have another match here. Game two. All tonight's matches are three out of five, just to let everybody know. Sorry for the wrong names. Uh, Sonic Fox playing Cassie, obviously. Yeah. I had the names back. It was, it, you were so hyped. Yeah. Like, you didn't tell really? Me. I, I really? <laughs> yeah. I'm just beside myself here. Oh, that jump in is going to. It is. It's going to take round one here. And Forever Elite. At least you are trying. Sensing the moment and the opportunity. Round two. Jumps in. Gets the hit confirm and takes round one here away from Sonic Fox and the down two. Get out of here with another overhead. These mix ups here. Oh, he's looking for that bait, that jump back one. Forever Elite's been known to convert off of that jump back. There's low fireballs, interrupting, forcing Cassie to remain patient here. But yeah, those jump ins from Sonic Fox are going to be negated by that jump standing one. Oh, another down two. Ooh. She's oh, on fire. Oh, so it's 1-1? One, one? Yeah, it's 1-1 one, one here. Stop. 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 <laughs> only a weekly. Stop. Only, well, only a weekly, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's only, it's only a weekly, guys. Yeah, it's only a weekly. It's not that serious. Oh, oops, sorry. Hold on one second, guys. We were uh, just showing I, you I have like I have too much technology going on. <laughs> Seriously, my bad. But forever early. Taking control here. In game three. Yeah, just uh, tick uh, forever elite there. You've been and the staggers into a throw here in the corner. Sonic Fox looking to. Take round one here in game three. Round two, fight. The jump over from the low fireballs. Trading down ones here. They both want to score that hit confirm before they commit to anything. It's forced Forever Elite to use his breaker though. Now Sonic Fox has the advantage for certain. And he has the corner with a stand off the nut punch here. Oh, that's going to be big damage here. Finish. 
Oh, my goodness. Ouse. Ouse. Do not cross Cassie Cage and Red find yourself in the corner because you will pay for it. Sonic Fox shows time and time again. He didn't commit to it there. He gave Forever Elite an opportunity to make something happen here. Uh, the back one, too. Con no conversion, though. Just a raw flip kick there in the, in the neutral game. Sonic being so resourceful, using all of his mix-ups and anything really at his disposal, going for throws. These stagger strings are safe. He's just playing really sharp tonight. Those down threes, he's got to hold those. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, she says. Round two, fight. Cassie and Sonic Fox, both very, very cocky. But confident at the same time, and rightly so. Uses the interactable to get out, but then he's going to eat a EX Bicycle kick in the face. There you go, Forever Elite running him down here. Oh, he's down to the chip. He's got to spin the bar, just wants to take that round. I agree with that decision. Final round. Final. Send it to the final round. See what can happen. Okay, they trade. Spends the bar early. Okay, Sonic's not willing to get thrown in the corner at any point. Wow, the EX nut punch so strong there to keep him. But Sonic now finding himself. Tied up here in round three. Oh my goodness. Can we see it? Forever Elite within chip territory here, sending it to a final game. Oh, Fox. Fox so clutch at all times. Clutch with a capital K. Sonic Fox doing what Fox. he does best. Fox. Just when you thought Ow. it was oh, oh, safe. Fatal, fatal, fatal. Shame, shame. And Fox feeling fashionable, taking a selfie. Cassie wins. Take my picture, cheese. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right, guys. All right, um, guys. So we have. So do you have any matches? Yeah. Uh, yeah we got plenty what's, of what's that happening over there? So over here is uh, King Raj. Okay, so. It'll be Destroyer and Chaotic Goonie will be up next in round three. Oh, Killtron's on the other setup, by the way. Killtron's on the other setup? Yeah, should we get more Killtron? Yeah. Why not? So, Destroyer. I don't know. I'm confused, guys. What, 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 who's on the setup right here? Uh, this uh, corner setup is King Raj and Christian. Yeah, King Raj and Christian. Yeah, King Raj, the nimble reptile, going up against Christian, the covert op Sonya. Um, then on the bottom right, we have, is that Kiltron, the farmer Jax? Uh, King Raj, King reptile? Yes, this is uh, up here, nimble reptile, and uh, Christian is covert op Sonya Blade. King Tiza is going to be up next on the mainstream here. Uh, going up against Creaky Axe. You oh, guys yeah. get up. Yeah, you guys get set up over here. Oh, we still keep forgetting to tell him to change the life bars. Oh uh, yeah. So this is uh, King Raj. Oh, oh. Oh. Did we get an interruption there? Oh. Okay. Hold on one second, stream. Blow up. Blah 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 blow up. Yes, and that was all on stream. Exposed. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow. Well, 895, guys. I don't think I'll change the life bars at all. Um, I 
Uh, waiting. Sorry, guys. So, I don't even know what happened. So, some some crap happened where they got bodied. So, I'm going to... Uh, Alright, so the life bars are now lowered. Uh, oh yeah, yo, yo, uh, Gandy, we're in there. So Raj, sorry and, uh, about that Christian. stream. I had to go set things right over there. Here we go. That's more like it. Um, so I think this set is actually two-two, if I'm not mistaken. So this set just started stream. Yeah, so um, Art, do me a favor and uh, switch the names. King Raj is uh, Nimble Reptile. And then on the main stream, we're going to have King Teaser and Creaky Axe. Um, King yeah, well, I, I, I told them to the wait. Yeah, yeah, give them, yeah, make them wait. Oh, Nimble activated. Yeah, the uppercut combo is so swaggy with Reptile. Oh, he converts on the low here. Oh, and another green ball. Why not? Woo, too fast. Too fast. Reptile styling once again. Oh, yeah, in case you guys are wondering Reptile where that is wins. at, that is on the uh, side setup, which is right where they are. We're, we're circuit to you right behind them. They're playing over there. And up next in the mainstream, we have, uh, who do we have in the mainstream? Who do you have in the mainstream? Yeah, so on the mainstream, uh, which, which, we're seeing uh, King Teaser here on the screen. King Teaser? King Teaser. T-I-Z-A. T-I-Z-A. His clan tag is SOS. And then he's going to go up against uh, Creaky Axe. Okay. All right, so we got it. We're in there. Oh, oh, hey, you guys are good. Yeah, guys, so we have so much action here for you. So we're we're panning through uh, the setups that are on to the side, showing you as much as we can of those sets that are going on. And we also have the main setup here, which we're going to have uh, get started for you in just a moment. Let's see here. That's Henry's. Uh, I didn't bring mine. Just ask Henry. He's right there. All right. So Forever Elite is uh, going to. He's going to have a tough road here, and even in the losers bracket, I'm going over the what what's happening right now. Oops. Wow, yo, it's at 450. Hey. Somebody donated more. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate all your support. Thank wow. you so much. We couldn't do it without you. Just like that? Come on. <laughs> all right. Come on. All right, so listen to this. Thank okay, you. so Thank top. You. So, okay, winners top four. We had Sonic Fox going up against Foreverly. And on the other side, we have Chaotic Goonie uh, meeting Circus Destroyer uh, to face. Uh, Fox in the in the winners finals there, uh, and then we have so many so many competitors climbing in the losers bracket. Um, you know they're waiting at the end it seems is uh, Forever Elite, but we have Emperor Splash, we have Mary Luna, she's uh, 
uh, waiting for her next opponent. Uh, Kiltron still in it over there. He just finished his uh, next match. What was the outcome for Kiltron? Yeah, so uh, report from Mama Kiltron. Uh, they're tied up there, 1-1. One, one. But here we go, we have Bartitsu, King Tiza. I'll switch. So we have cannon matchups here. Here at the crossroads. Netherrealm going to the next level here. Year three at MKX. And we have Bartitsu versus Bone Shaper. Oh, that's a OTG, you have to respect that. Oh, EX monkey flip, but Hellspurks keeping him away here. He's gonna have to utilize the range of the cane if he wants to get in here and do some damage against Bone Shaper. Oh, that's ground pound. You're gonna have to respect that too. But yeah, it seems like King Tiza trying to get in here against the uh, zoning of Bone Shaper, uh, proving unsuccessful in game one. He's gonna have to just think it through. But he is here for a reason. He's definitely uh, been using Bo Raicho since the beginning uh, of so KP2 like, like last year, in fact. PS4. <laughs> and down there on the uh, on the bottom right here, we had uh, Kiltron uh, going up against uh, Takedown. Kiltron using Jason Voorhees in this instance. But we're back to the main setup here in game two. Creaky Axe, EX Hellspurks. Scythe, oh, he's gonna use the shoulder and EX that. He was going for max damage there. King Tiza taking a drink. He's using Drunken Master, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. It's the weekend. Party like it's 1999. It just lays down flat. I love the movement style from King Tiza. Getting swaggy with it here. EX belly flop. The monkey flips. The mixes. The mix master. Man, the the timing was increased slightly for each uh, time he takes drink, but it's still tough. It's hard hard to get things started with Drunken Master, but here we go. This is the opportunity he needed, and King Tease is going to get on the board here and get round one here in game two. Round two, fight. Neutral jump kick just to negate anything from Creaky Axe is really on the back ropes here. He's pushed him all the way into the corner. Yeah, if death calls for you with that EX shoulder. You really have to respect it now. Oh, he gets in with the EX flop, but wasn't able to convert on it. it takes another drink. Double lows there. Smirks. Uh, joining us, we're going to have uh, Forever Elite here on stream. All right, is it go audio? Too loud, too loud? No, nah, well, you're we're great. I'm good. All right, hey, buddy. What's up, man? Hey. All right, so we got X and King Teaser. Yeah, King Teaser. This is Baraito and Shinnok? No, they're, oh. he's just he's playing the mind games with No, him. this is the mind game. This is the drunken master here. You've got to have mind games if you're drunk. That's corner game, though. Live with this corner game. Yeah, live and die with the corner here for drunken master. He's forced the break here. He lets Creaky X jump out for free. Oh, that's a punish? Yeah, that's okay. a punish for sure. Most characters in the game have a uh, hell spark range punish. You just have to you just have to understand the timing of it. Yeah, it seems like Baracha really has a good option with it. All those monkey flips, good blocks from Creepy X. Uh oh, this might be this might be it. Here we go. Another overhead. Oh, there we go. It looks like on paper this would be a really bad King matchup Tiza, for Baracho. Can, 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 yeah, can he uh, continue this dominance here using Bartitsu tonight? Yeah, Bar and his, uh, he good. was Drunken Master too, right? Or is this is a Drunken Master? Um, he was using Bartitsu, Drunken Master. I'm not sure if he uses Dragon's Breath. Right. He seems to be a uh, a loyalist, a Bo Raicho loyalist. 
Yeah, I mean, congratulations to him because, you know, yeah. Raichel doesn't really have the easiest of matchups. Yeah, this is his representation. This is yeah. his, and this is really good. This, this is, is the really best solid. it gets here. And, yeah. You know, he's showing off this character here for mm -hmm. us this weekend. We're in for a treat. Oh, anti-air fart? Look at the mix right now. The Bo Right mix. Can we can we get that as a hashtag? Like a Bo Right mix? Is that even a thing? <laughs> yeah, he's like a mixologist, you know? <laughs> if he was a bartender. Right. You got you got low, low, mid, low, over it. I don't even I can't understand it. Shake right. and not stir, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice punish on that. I really love the use of the drink at the right time from King Tiza, fully understanding oh, his character. Reset. Oh, he misses with the fat pedo there. <laughs> it's a hard knockdown. What's for breakfast? Oh, he just goes for the overhead. Oh, no Why punish not? on it. Yeah. What's he chose to do? Goes for a throw. Keeping it safe. Keeping it safe. I like it. Serve him and live. He's going to send it to round three. I'm liking the Shinnok, man. He's playing it really solid, keeping it calm. He needs to punish that. DX Monkey flips. Wants him in that corner. Because once go. you're, yeah, you're in corner town and Bo Rai chose the mayor. Yeah, and the thing is, he doesn't have any more breakers, so even if Bo Rai got in. Oh, look at this. Here we go. This might be the game right here. Yeah, one He's more, one more mix. touch. He's gonna end it with it. There we go. There it is. Oh, oh he, he drops dropped the though. combo. Fat Pedo just to get out of jail free card. Oh, he spends the bar with the EX Sparks. That's right. You, it's I'll not enough keep, though. Keep him full screen. Try to keep him away. Oh, the OTG. Oh. There it is. And Tiza. What if the unblockable stomps? Like, is that a zoning tool now? <laughs> hey. Unblockable if zoning tool. Come on, NRS. All right, in the top right screen, got some more action there. Showing off. Mm -hmm. So many different matches going on here. Tiza. Oh, these unblockable stomps. Yeah. Like, is the right show a top three zoner now? He, he's making creaky acts. Uh, you know, he's playing his game. Tiza's forcing him to make a decision here. Right, you would think that Shinnok would be out zoning Baracho right now. But it looks like Baracho is out zoning Shinnok, and yeah. he jumps in when he wants to. Yeah, I think that, you know, being unfamiliar against this matchup uh, could be, you know, paying off for Tiza. Maybe he went in thinking this. Right. Uh, but, you know, nonetheless, you know, Creaky Axe is able to take the round, yeah. keeping it going. He's able to hold it down here. I mean, it may seem wrong, but he wants to keep it full of screen. No well, you what. know, Deadwoods is one of the biggest stages in this game. So you, you would think it, it really caters to the zoning style for Bone Shaper. Yeah. Yo, I, not to cut you guys off, but oh, I just want to shout out the number three donator, Zedalo7, who donated $50, and he said, Sonic Fox is free to Perfect Legend. <laughs> 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 That's godlike. Thank you so much, dude. Thanks, yeah, man. Yeah, thanks a lot for really uh, appreciate donating. Support. I'm going to tell Sonic Fox that, too. <laughs> I'm not going to say your name, but I'm going to tell him that we saw that on the chat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're tied up here. Is it two to two? Yeah, two to two. All right. Three out of five here. So last game, we got Shinnok, Bone Shaver, and Drunken Master. I think he might switch. He might be taking a little break to think about it. I'm not sure. They are. Trim. All right, so I, I heard Tremor being selected. I don't think he should use We'll him. see if it's uh, Creaky Axe that decides to switch or was well, it? Creaky Axe was one, so he can't switch. So I think it's Tiza. Oh, yeah. And I don't think he should really use Tremor. He was really good with Baraito. Like, he didn't lose to, well, yeah, sure. like, to the match. I think he just lost to, you know, just Creaky Axe adapting to whatever was happening and playing the better style. I mean, but that I matchup's tough for Baraito. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, I mean, Drunken Master... Um, Who's playing know, on the side setups, by the way? The side setup is uh, King Raj and Takedown, I believe. Or no, it's Dragon God. I'm sorry. 
Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Dragon God and Takedown uh, on the top right. And we got uh, King Raj bottom on the left, bottom. And bottom Mary? left is King Raj and Mary Luna. Well, and Sky Temple. Much. It's it's a literal MKX vortex. Yeah. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm looking at so many different things, and yeah. you know, sometimes, please don't. Uh, yeah. Hold on one second. So Chaotic Goonie and Circa Destroyer um, is our other winners side uh, top four. We'll bring that to you guys up next. He has to punish that. The overhead of Rod, very rewarding, but very punishable. He didn't punish it. Yeah, that down four was getting something started, but. EX shoulder and the butter gun. Oh, the mix up right there. You gotta respect that. The little stagger. Shinox 4 4, one of the fastest in the business. Yeah, seven frames, right? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta seven respect Seven frames, low, good hitbox. Well, the height from that uh, air low projectile from Aftershock was able to get away from that interactable and Creaky X converting once again on that EX shoulder. Yeah, it seems like Creaky X really, really knows what he wants to do right now. Yeah. All right, so we got T's in the corner. This can go one way only. Oh, the mix-up, the overhead low mix-up. He's playing it safe. Can he convert over that? Yes, punish that. There we go. There we go. He's back in this. Here we go. So we got Another T's with the clutch here. punish on the overhead, bringing it back. This is it. Their tournament life is on the line here. I don't think uh, it, Tremor's earthquake right now is really being helpful to him winning this match. It seems like Hellsparks is just trading with it. Oh, the run in with the forward four. 20%. Uh oh. Another one. King Tease is going to have to make something happen here. Uh oh. Oh, he gets hit he with the it. scoop. Uh, and Shin Aquaman takes it. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. You I, rarely see the EX scoop, but it worked right. out for him in that the, case. Don't you don't see the EX scoop in yeah, the mix-up of the overhead and the low. It paid off for him, and and Creaky Axe is able to uh, answer the call and and take that set against King Teza. You know wow. that's it. I think Teza should have stayed with uh, Baracho. Yeah, I would have. Uh, I would have loved to to see him stay through that whole set with Yeah, Baracho like he, too, man. he had a round with, with Tremor, but I don't think right. he was as comfortable as he would have um, been. Next with up, Baracho. we're gonna have uh, Chaotic uh, Goonie and Circa's Destroyer. Yes. All right, Chaotic Goonie and uh, Circa Destroyer. Yeah, Goonie being a uh, displacer. Uh, Who's rated playing thing. on the uh, side stream? So side stream on the top right screen, uh, we have Takedown going up against. Uh, hold on one second. Is that who I think it is? Is that just casual? I'm not sure at this point. I think I have to get up and uh, get some other uh, matchups. So you guys hold the fort down really quick. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so we do not know if this is casual or not. Oh, we got the Shoyer. Up next, we got the Shoyer and uh, Chaotic Goonie. Chaotic Goonie. Goonie really uh, has been known for his displacer. He's an online player. I don't know if you ever came up to an online or to an offline event before, but I've really only seen him on an online event. So that's his first show right now. I mean, he's in the winner's bracket so far, so I mean, he must be doing really good. Oh. Right here? Okay. Oh, Frank and Dragon God. Yeah, Dragon God's, uh, actually, and then the BR-8 Okay. All right, so, but we're going to go to the main setup. Okay. So. Um. All right, so this is, um, Destroyer and Goony. I think they're just oh, sorry. checks. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, are you button checks? All right. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. No, yeah, this is button checks. Yeah, definitely. All right, so yeah, so Dragon God and uh, 
and breaks, I think, yeah, on the breaks top right. Yeah, uh, on the top right, yes. Yeah, so, uh, nah, man. So, it's your first time here coming to the next level. What do you think about this place? It's actually really good. You know, I it's, I don't want to be that person, but, like, I used to watch this on YouTube when I was younger. Like, 11 years old, I used to wake up for school, Dope. eat That's Eggos, awesome. and That's watch, awesome. like, Smug versus whatever. <laughs> That's awesome. That level. <laughs> and now I I'm here, that. like. That makes my day, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so match one, we got Destroyer and Goonie. Goonie at Kotal Khan, Destroyer being his trimmer. So already starting out early. He's already in the corner, getting his pressure going. Got him with the mix-up. That shield saved him right there from the punish. This looks pretty one-sided right now. Goonie can't really get the corner. Um, I don't know how this matchup is supposed to go between Kotal Khan and Trimmer. But um, I'm pretty sure this is only early ones. So I think Goonie will make a comeback this round. Which is probably we didn't really see a rating, but. Destroyer right now, I'm really opening, opening him up in the neutral. Got the low. X-ray. We'll take it. Let's see, let's see what happens afterwards. We'll get some good Oki after this. Destroyer again though, just jumping up, punching back. Got him again with the same mix-up. Uh-oh, he's trying to swag on him. All right, Destroyer takes the uh, first game. Yeah, I don't. Destroyer is trying to be a little savage today. He's trying to do all the brutality combos. I don't yeah, know what's going on. Yeah, feel <laughs> <laughs> nice anti here. You gotta punch that harder. Get a command grab at the first level. Right now, Destroyer and his neutral right now is really, really taking over. Oh, what's up, bro? Candyman. Yes. Back on the mic. Yeah, we're back. If anyone can. Yeah, if not us, then who? If not us, then who? Nice parry, but I don't... Oh, oh another gonna... flash parry Should've there. Punished it. Goodness. On your knees. Oh, that was a very hard read. Goonie opted to go in with Sun God Kotal in this instance. Yeah. Not feeling Raiden He didn't use Raiden in the first match. He's using Kotal. I guess Kotal all the way out. I think Raiden still has answers to Crystalline buff. Yeah, I don't I don't even the pump I don't up. see why you should use them. I mean if anything, Total Con is slower than Raiden, so I don't see why you would switch the characters. Maybe something that we don't know. It's, he's there for a reason there in top four, the winner's yeah. side. Alright, so we got level three command grabs now. Oh. So each one's gonna do like nineteen. He's gonna need some lotion. Oh, there Get we go again. Suntan here on your knees. Yo, Ugh. Nice block. All right, down one. It's another command grab. All right. Once again, Goonie, the trifecta uh -huh. of suntans. There we go. There we go, Goonie. Make your number Might as well get him grabs. a membership. Mm -hmm. Each command grab is almost 20%. So those yeah. three command grabs, they're almost around 50%. Oh, yeah. Like, that's really good. We got the flex. Oh, it goes for the 2-1-2. Two, two. That's the overhead. There's pressure right now. The staggers. The conversion. Another island buff. Oh, it connects with the low, he but the, the combo. EX, okay, the EX rock toss. That will punish me. Yeah. Oh destroyer. Oh, destroyer. Looking clean here. Yeah, playing Up out of his two mind. games here to get started. I think Goonies is going to go Goonies got to go back to Raiden. I think he will. I say go back to Raiden. And there we hear it. Lord Raiden. There we go. Bless that, us with your presence. If on he this, didn't, I would have been a little disappointed in myself. On this day. All right, guys. So, All right, so the, we, like have, uh, we got Killtron's over Kill, there. Yeah, Killtron. And I think. That's he, Killtron and uh, Emperor Splash there on the bottom left side of your screen, ladies and gentlemen. But right now we're back to the main stage here set up against Goonie and Circus Destroyer. Goonie down two games here in this set. Going back to his main bread and butter, Displacer Raiden. Mm -hmm. 
Now one thing I'm just gonna go because you know Raiden being his main, I think he's more comfortable with them in the matchup. Yeah, you know I'd like to see some down one uh, shockers uh, coming from Goonie. You know, make sure that. That's confirmed. Yeah, make sure that Destroyer's uh, respecting uh, Raiden's neutral game because it's very strong. Very. Strong. Oh, that oh, jump he tried over. the anti air, but I think he got. Uh, oh, that's gonna hurt. 15%, nice middle. Bump up, yeah. The overhead? Yeah, why Another not overhead. double overhead time? Double overhead. <laughs> so here we go, Goonie on his last legs right now. Yeah, if you throw stones, you shouldn't live in a glass house, you know? <laughs> Tremor. Oh, shout out to Apollo in the chat. And NRS cops, of course they're watching. Oh, yeah, they of are. Course, of course they're watching. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, what do you mean? Apollo is out there. Come on. Nah, come on now. <laughs> Yo, Paula, up, Paula? Paula, I don't want to be that person, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't, yo, don't get starstruck by um, <laughs> by the fact that this Illuminati, bro, this happens all the time, bro. Just play cool, play cool. Yeah, yeah, play cool. All right, you and, it's all good. Yeah, what's up, Paula? You know <laughs> all right, so we got Goonie taking this round. Staggers into the throw to send it to a round three. Goonie's looking to take this game. Is it two zero to short? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry, I'm bugging out. Oh, nice teleport. I don't know if you're But not for long, it seems. Goonie looking really comfortable here, but. And the destroyer, you know, him in the yeah. corner, and his mix ups has really been yeah, working. You so really got to find your way out of the corner here in this position. Oh, the down one. He was trying to go for the interruption. That back one being sped up to 14 frames by Paco Stevens. It's <laughs> really good, man. All right. Goonie forced to break in that situation. This is looking really grim. Oh, that was a trade combo. Oh now, oh, now Hollywood Carl's showing up. So everybody's no, 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 showing no, no. up now, yeah, huh? Right, everybody's so, showing up now. So so our um, winner's finals match in store for you tonight will be Echo Fox's Sonic Box and Circus Destroyer. That's a really good match. Uh, a run back. A run back. A run back. And